Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Leeds, ahead of what is the fight of the year in Britain. Of course, Josh Taylor rematching Jack Cattrall at the first direct arena here in Leeds, live on the zone around the world. Huge moment, huge night, off the back of an incredible night in Riyadh, of course, last Saturday, the undisputed heavyweight world championship. What a fight, what a moment, as we lock this one in before moving back to Riyadh for the 5v5. Incredible times for boxing and huge moments and opportunities for everybody up here on the top table as well. Of course, a mega fight as the main event, but a great undercard as well and a very important fight for all involved. You know, no breaks, straight into another big fight. Of course, you challenged for the world title last time out. You fought one of the pound for pound top guys. No warm up, no comeback, straight back into a big domestic fight. Cheers, Ed. Um, yeah, I lost December 23rd. Um, I carried quite a lot of frustration coming out of that fight just because I didn't get a chance to really prove, you know, what I could do. But um, that's what happens. That's world level boxing. We're small heavyweights. You make mistakes. You have to pay the consequences. Um, I've been back in the gym since January the 8th. This fight wasn't really on my radar per se because of the whole, you know, Isaac situation. But like I said, I've been in the gym, been staying ready. So when the phone rang, it was a yes from me. Jarrell Miller is not Philip Hergovic, just make one thing close. But what he is, is a big man who will test your heart. And for once in that department, Daniel, he, needed he, he ticked the box, right? And that's going to give him a lot of confidence going in. This is a different kind of fight. I don't think he'll have to show heart in this fight. He'll have to show ability. He'll have to show chin as well. Because Hergovic is a sharp shooter, particularly early in the fight. And people, a lot of people look at the Hergovic-Zhang fight, right? Zhang's a tough night for anybody, but also, you know, Hergovic, his father passed away. He weren't really himself going into that fight. He is firing on all cylinders, and I think he knocks Daniel Dubois out. And he's going to miss the birth of his child as well. Yeah, well, that'll make him extra tonight. angry, you know, but yeah. you've got to do what you've got to do. We witnessed greatness, obviously, last weekend, Eddie. The IBF don't tend to hang around. Is there a chance that fight could be for the IBF World Heavyweight? Yeah, fight? it's all happening a little bit quick, if I'm honest. You know, I mean, for, for a decision to be made next Saturday, I'm not so sure. You know, I think if it was Tyson Fury, obviously Frank Warren's got a close relationship there to be able to have a direct relationship with him and say, look, Tyson, you're going to have to give this belt up. Do you mind doing it now so these guys can fight for the belt? That conversation's got to be had with Alex Krasuk and Usyk, which might not happen as quickly. So one thing's for sure, I think when Usyk next fights, the IBF won't be in his possession. This is what we want to see. It's the biggest British fight of the year. Well, it's the biggest domestic fight of the year by a mile, in my opinion. And um, we're, we're, finally, we're finally here. We're finally going to get there. And listen, Josh, for me, like what I said before many, many times, he's the best Scottish fighter ever, in my opinion, from what he's achieved. But that's his kryptonite right there. And you're going to see Jack Catchell with his hand raised like he, like he should have been in the first fight. It's a must-win Saturday. That's where all my energy is focused to. I don't want to talk about what's after this. I know you've got a great division at 140 and there's a lot of big fights to be made and that's an exciting prospect, but right now all I can think about is beating Josh on Saturday. And finally, I don't think you'll mind me saying when I was doing an interview earlier, they asked me for a prediction and you said Catrell stoppage round seven to nine. Still, still stand by that? You believe you'll you take 100%. this man out on yeah, Saturday I night? I can take him out Saturday. You feel like there's huge nights ahead of you. We know how strong the... The landscape is at 140 as well. We know how big this fight is in, in terms of its profile as well. This is going to put you right back in, in contention for all the huge world championship fights at 140. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at the, the history of boxing. All the, all the great fighters of the past have taken defeats and come back and won world titles again. You know, just because you take one defeat doesn't mean you're a finished fighter. I think that's where boxing's taken a turn for the worst because when a fighter takes a loss, everybody goes, ah, he's finished and stuff like that. But... Things like the UFC, there's fighters that have got 20, 20 fights and 10 losses and that, but they're still at the top of the game and still fighters. Just because you take a loss doesn't mean you're a bad fighter. So I still feel that like I'm at the top of the game. And on Saturday, I take care of business and I'm back, in, I'm back into the picture for winning my titles back. The way I've been performing in the gym, the shots I've been throwing and catching people with, if I catch them with these shots, it, it'll be over. It'll really, it'll really be devastating for them, but we'll see what happens. In Leeds on Saturday night, as I said, 11,000 sold out the first direct arena, live on the zone around the world in the UK, ESPN in America. Massive fight, massive moment for British boxing, the fight of the year so far as Josh Taylor rematches Jack Catterall. Boxing on the zone, sponsored by William Hill.